what sort of angel is Michael? Let's see. Um, well, he's not your usual angel, as said in the film. Uh, he is an angel that uh, is earthbound to, break, to uh, help heal some broken hearts. But while he's doing it, he wants to have a good time and enjoy the bodily uh, urges, like, um, for instance, uh, smoking, um, eating, having sex. And while he's saving these broken hearts, he's going to enjoy all these things, dancing, um, singing, having laughs. He likes to have lots of laughs. So uh, that's his personal motivation while he's having this, uh, this uh, job that he's got to do. How does this gel with your own perception of angels, or do you believe in angels? Well, I don't, I don't have a lot of significance uh, put on angels, but I kind of think that people are each other's angels in a way, you know, take care of each other, make sure each other does well, and full responsibility kind of, you know, your parents, friends, your wife, your children. Now, your angel does quite a bit of dancing in this film. And you've done a lot of dancing in a lot of your movies. Is is dancing does have an important place in your heart? Well, if if you know, unfortunately, uh, dancing and music is not used uh, in the way it used to be years ago. So, on occasion, uh, when there's a spot that that I can express that, um, I, I enjoy doing it. But uh, it has to be part of the scenario, an intricate part of the scenario, and a, and a part that. Um, Makes sense in logic to the character, because if it doesn't, then I don't I don't enjoy it as an appendage or as a an arbitrary idea. I like it as a very specific idea that lends full uh, color to the characters. You know, lately you've gone from uh, um, get shorty and uh, broken hour to phenomenon. Now, now uh, this movie, are you? Veering in a certain direction of the superhuman or, or the extrahuman. No, these two films were in a in a row by accident. They weren't in a row uh, planned. Uh, so any uh, similarities in in uh, texture or feel uh, is coincidental. You know. You know, you've been you've been a major star for for decades now. How how much does that that publicity aspect of it crimp on your on your on your on your personal life? You mean doing PR? Uh, being such a big figure. Oh, oh I see. Um, I'm used to it right now. I mean, 21 years of being famous um, is part of my life. I've, I've been famous for half my life. So we're getting into the area where I'll be famous more time than I was not famous. So if you get the idea that it, it, it it's just I probably wouldn't know what to do if I weren't at this point because it's part of like eating and breathing. Do you know? How do you um, how do you find room for your personal life and your 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 career at the same time? Well, it's difficult. But when I analyzed uh, my my upbringing, I spend as much time with my wife and my son as my dad did with me and my mother. Uh, so. I kind of have a normal time schedule with my family versus uh, an unusual, which would have been full time, like I did the first two years of my son's life. Spent all day, every day with him and my wife, and that was fabulous, but it was probably unreal because that wasn't the way it was going to be if I wanted to make a living anyway. 